The Little Ghost Who Lost Her Boo, words by Elaine Bickle, illustrations by Raymond McGrath. Little Ghost went out in the middle of the night and flew up to someone to give them a fright. She got in position, arms up, all prepared. Wait for it. Lady, you're going to be scared. She opened her mouth, but her boo wasn't there. All that came out was a rush of cold air. I've lost my boo. I've lost my boo. Where has it gone? What will I do? Mama Ghost said, my poor little one, it looks as though your fright nights are done. I'll find it, cried the little ghost. Off she flew, looking and listening for her scary boo. Then she heard a noise in the dark, dark trees. Can that be my boo? Oh, let it be, please. Ooh, ooh. It wasn't a boo, but it was a hoo, hoo, hoo. And down flew an owl. Oh, owl, it's you. I wonder, can you help me? I'm looking for my boo. I'm sorry, little ghost, but I can't help you. I've been out all night, had a tasty bite or two, and while I was hunting, I didn't hear a boo. Would you like to borrow my hoo-hoo-hoo? -hoo? Thank you, Al. It's perfect for you, but it's just not as scary as my ghostly boo. From far above came a noise in the tree. That's my boo. It belongs to me. Coo. Coo. It was not a boo, but a gentle coo. Oh, hello, pigeon. I'm glad it's you. I wonder, can you help me? I'm looking for my boo. Coo. 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 I'm sorry, little ghost, but I can't help you. I woke up extra early to enjoy the starry view. And while I was looking, I didn't hear a boo. Would you like to borrow my own gentle coo? Coo, coo. Thank you, pigeon. It's perfect for you. But it's just not as scary as my ghostly boo. As the first light of day began to show, the tiny ghost heard a rooster crow. Cock-a-doodle-doo! Oh, hello, rooster. It's nice to see you. I wonder... Can you help me? I'm looking for my boo. I'm sorry, little ghost, but I can't help you. I've only just got up as the day is really new, and I'm about to wake the world with a cock-a-doodle-doo. Why don't you join me? And you can try it, too. Thank you, rooster. It's perfect for you. But it's just not as scary as my ghostly Boo! Cock a doodle doo! Little Ghost was sad as up and off she flew, headed for her home without her precious boo. She'd asked all of her friends and she'd looked everywhere. She knew without a boo there was no one she could scare. Then the little ghost heard what sounded like a boo. She flew in a little closer then knew it was a moo. Oh, hello, cow. Of course it's you. I wonder, can you help me? I'm looking for my boo. I'm sorry, little ghost, but I can't help you. After being milked, I found some grass to chew. But not once this morning have I ever heard a boo. Although I have something similar, why don't you try my moo? Moo. It's close, said Little Ghost, but it just won't do. Even though it's similar, it's perfect for you. It's just not as scary as my own ghostly boo. So Little Ghost went home, as sad as can be. Then she looked up. What did she see? She saw the reader. Yes, she saw you. Can you help the little ghost find her boo? Come on now, it's up to you. Let me hear you shout, Boo!
Yes, that's it. That will do. That is such a scary boo. You did it. You found it. High five and a big thank you. And with that wonderful scary boo, away that happy little ghost flew. The end.